The Vera C. Rubin Observatory is tasked with four huge goals. Map the Milky Way, probe dark energy and dark matter, explore the transient sky, and inventory the solar system. So how will it be possible to accomplish these over the next 10 years? The best way to accomplish any single one of these goals might be a terrible way to accomplish the other three. So the many science communities behind this survey had to really strategize and compromise to achieve the best science for everybody. Some examples of decisions that had to be made include where on the sky should the telescope point, how often should it revisit each of those points, and should we spend more time looking at longer, redder wavelengths, which could benefit solar system studies, or should we spend that time at shorter, bluer wavelengths, which are good for galactic studies? To help make these decisions, the Rubin team has put together many simulations of what the 10-year survey could look like. The science community then examined these simulations to determine how well they would answer the big four science questions. Each time the Rubin team and the science communities worked together, the survey strategy kept improving. The Rubin Community Workshop is one of the places where survey planning has taken place. This year's workshop was the last one before the official start of the survey. Soon we'll get to see the results of the community's hard work planning this major project.